developmental levels we have come under like weed management is one of the important area wherein we need to have a lot of uh, in the sense research and also to sustain the crop production and you all know that nowadays how the population is going and then uh, regarding 2023 like uh, from uh, USA they have quoted like uh, for India is having uh, have reached 1.417 billion now so we need to advance the weed control technology to get the better output that means current crop production levels are not adequate to feed the projected population so will only be possible with highly productive agricultural systems like different weed management systems and then uh, what are the risks and uh, we have a day by day every and the sense uh, the increase in evolved uh, herbicide resistance and lack of new uh, mode of actions uh, uh, threatens to make almost all existing herbicides unusable by 2050 and then we need to integrate old and new weed management technologies into more uh, diverse weed management systems and we all know like uh, uh, the share of different uh, pests so when it comes to that losses caused by rodents and others is 12 percent and then diseases 22 percent and then weeds by 37 percent and uh, like insects it's 29 compared to all pests weeds are having a lot of uh, losses in the sense uh, when it comes to crop yields. So weeds reduce crop yields from 33 to 40% in field crops. When it comes to horticulture crop yields, it's much more. Okay. So we have so many options, genetic options and management options and also the developmental options. Out of three major options, we are having a management options. Out of that, again, it's a weed management strategy. It's a very, very crucial and very, very important uh, management aspect. And then I think I've already explained all this regarding uh, population rise and then uh, we have reached uh, in the sense in India we have reached uh, 1.417 billion now and then uh, why we need to go for different types of weed management is we are having an increase in evolved herbicide resistance and lack of new uh, mode of actions and also the we need to integrate this old and new weed management technologies into more diverse weed management strategies. Losses caused by different pests, this uh, causes by weeds are much more than compared to rodents or disease, insects or pests. And the annual monetary loss is uh, nearly 1980 crores annually. That we reduce uh, crop yields from 33 to 40% when it comes to field crops. And then the yield reduction is much more with horticultural crops. And then uh, critical period of crop weed competition and uh, yield losses, it all again depends on the duration of the crop. For example, uh, medium duration, it will uh, have a 30 to first 30 to 45 days are very crucial during that time. If there is no weeds, means there will be a 100% uh, uh, yield. And then if there are some weeds, uh, then there will be a yield loss. That is a reduction in yield, grain yield is so much if there are weeds during critical period for example if you take rice first 15 days if uh, there are some weeds and then uh, they are causing reduction means that is 50 to 90 percent similarly in black gram if the critical period is like uh, 15 to 30 days within this uh, critical period if you have some weeds and then they are causing some loss means that reduction is going to be like 30 to 50 percent and then similarly in oil seeds, oil seeds also will be having a different uh, critical period and then example, for example, sesame, it is a uh, critical period is 15 to 45 days. So during that time, if some weeds are there, means there will be definitely there will be yield loss that is up to 15 to 45 minutes, that 45 percent yield reduction. That means effective weed management during the early stage is very, very crucial. Apart from that, uh, again, uh, so whatever we take the uh, measures as a weed management, I don't think it's going to work. So first, the critical period is very, very important to take any weed control measures. And when it comes to sunflower, because I worked in sunflower, like, uh, for example, if you take the critical period, it starts from 23 to 43 days. So that is the critical period in uh, uh, sunflower. The yield loss is so much. So if it, uh, if plot is weed free, then the yield is 100%. If the field is having a weed, that means there will be nearly 
27% yield loss. So that means the critical period is very, very important. During that period, one has to have wheat free period, wheat free plot. And the same thing is represented because uh, we were doing some uh, uh, production constraints uh, components. So in that also it shows like uh, when we uh, have the full package versus uh, minusing the full package and then fertilizer plus thinning and weeding. So that means if you are having uh, all this in the sense uh, with the full packages means you can haul thinning, fertilizer, weeding, everything, plant protection. So if one of these and then three of these, like for example, fertilizer, thinning and weeding, this is going to account 77% reduction over full packet. That means this weed management is very, very important to just to stress upon that just I'm giving my own results, my own uh, results. And then the nutrient the removal. Nutrient removal is also more by weeds compared to crop. Plant, crop plants like for example nitrogen whether it's nitrogen or phosphorus or potassium crop is uh, removing the lesser quantity of nutrient compared to weeds weeds are having so much of uh, uh, nutrient removal compared to crops and also these weeds uh, remove nutrient moisture and also sunlight uh, the nutrient to the extent of 25 to 40 percent and also to the sunlight to the extent of 20 to 40 percent so that way weeds are causing lot of reduction in yield crop yield and then how to protect this so plant we have to protect our own crop plant so that means if the weeds are going to deplete the nutrients and also serve as alternate host for pests and diseases causing organisms so for example we all know parthenium is having a health hazards and also insects are causing uh, so many other problems and then diseases so weeds are most and also serves and then so that way we need to protect our own crop plants. How to protect these plants? So that is a question. And then since the beginning of agriculture, weeds have been regarded as the maximum damaging biotic factor. We all know that and reduces both the quantity as well as the quality of the crops. The tropical countries like India, we are having a lot of sunlight and also abundance of sunlight and temperature, which are prevailing almost throughout the year. That way we are this... Uh, environment is congenial for the growth of this weed species different weed species and to tackle the problem of which we need we are having herbicides that is in the sense modern agriculture has developed a wide range of herbicides they are called herbicides so different methods we have different methods comes to the in the sense cultural methods physical chemical biological we have almost all the methods but the thing is we are having reduction in the yield loss because the loss is going to be like a 33 percent if you say 33 percent yield loss is from uh, weeds means it's going to have under seven million tons of uh, loss in the total production so that itself is enough we don't have to have any other measure to increase our uh, production so out of 320 million what is projected for the 2025 if you just uh, manage the weeds loss from lost by these weeds that itself is enough we don't have to think of any other technology or any other measure to increase the uh, production food production so you you all know all these cultural practices just to glance all this and then uh, these are the polythene sheets mulch and then straw mulching we are following all this for ages and then even today we are following all this then mechanical weed control and then herbicides with the mechanical now what we had already in a sense during the Rabavana's presentation they have included a, a, a wheel wo plus the hand weeding similarly you can add herbicide with the wheel wo or a hand uh, one hand weeding so uh, apart from all those different methods we are having biological control of weeds also so we have so many programs and all this but the thing is the compared to uh, this uh, India and world percentage of chemicals, what we use, everybody is telling we are using a lot of herbicides. No, it's not true because we are using lesser herbicides, but we are using more of insecticides compared to world average. So the percentage uh, in India average and also the world average that is insecticides part in the century 44, almost double we are using in India and then uh, when it comes to herbicide, it's other way around. So that way we are using more of insecticide rather herbicides. 
so when it comes to consumption by different uh, crops in india in india we are having so many in a sense uh, cereals most of the time we are using these herbicides in cereals non selective is just 7% and then cereals we are using uh, 74% so here been we are having uh, 4% and then plantation crop 6% and others uh, it's 9% uh, like crop wise if you take we are using these herbicides in uh, wheat it's more of uh, herbicides are used in wheat that is 57% whereas in case of rice it's 17% and the next is stays like uh, for example uh, soybean four and plantation six and then uh, non selective field so that means we are using only in cereals that two in wheat and rice and a little in soybean so why we need this chemical control like uh, we are having a continuous because in the 22 23 we had a, a continuous rain for throughout the Uh, here and also some meat in the, in the sense while doing physical method of weed management uh, without knowing the morphological similarity people will uh, also remove the uh, crop weeds so that way and also herbicide control does not need strict uh, row spacing and then if you use chemical uh, so you don't have to have the line sowing uh, this thing and while in physical method of weed control we need to have a row sowing because we need to have a sufficient wide enough to accommodate the implement and also this bring longer control of perennial weeds compared to any other method of uh, weed management for example hand weeding if you do hand weeding today cypress rotundus and then uh, cendron dacla you can see next day itself or by evening itself sometimes if it rains so that is the problem with this kind of a manage in the sense of physical method of weed management so that is the reason we one has to have this chemical method and then herbicides are convenient to use in spiny weeds spiny weeds which cannot be uh, reached by manually so these are also safe on uh, erodible uh, land so these are the few importance of uh, this chemical weed management so one has to have this chemical as well as the uh, physical and also cultural all those to put together only they can have a better weed management so what type of compounds are herbicides i think you all know this herbicides are chemicals used to manipulate the or control the undesirable vegetation so maybe by tackling this oxidative stress or inhibition of cell division or slow emergence or inhibition of germination or disease uh, so to decrease in yield or that kind of a triad one has to focus while uh, uh, this synthesizing any of the herbicides and different methods and then uh, pre planting pre incorporation and post emergent early post emergent labor application sequential application means the pre emergent followed by pre emergent pre emergent all these methods are followed and then uh, labor method is that that is the irrigation that is through water irrigation channel you can have this herbicides so so out of using all these herbicides in the sense there is a increase in yield so people come to know that must come to know that they, while increasing their yield of a crop so if they use this kind of an herbicide they can increase their yield so after that they started using this herbicides and then only in the rice and wheat maximum uh, herbicides are used when it comes to this percentage yield increase over we check due to herbicides is so much in uh, especially rice that is direct seeded rice and also maize and then groundnut so so different crops are having different level of increase by the use of this herbicide so we have a premix herbicides also these are also uh, having their own effect and then because of the resistance and then people started using a combination of uh, different uh, herbicides premix and combinations are having their own importance like increases the spectrum of weed control minimum development of weed resistance reduction of the doses of the herbicides it also improves the crop safety and then prevention of detoxification reduces the environmental impact and then more effective and economical weed control is through this combinations and uh, we we are having so many advantages out of using this herbicide but the, unfortunately this useful tool has been challenged by the evolution of herbicide resistance in weeds in the recent past so we had different approaches we even all different approaches are having their own drawback
and what are the existing that the herbicide resident uh, resistance uh, weed plasticity herbicide resistant crops misconceptions about integrated weed management neglected area of research in weed science lack of improved mode of action of herbicides herbicide related contamination climate change so many changes so many existing uh, issues are there in weed management one has to tackle one after the other but the thing is it's very difficult then that is the reason we have to go with a different kind of a weed management that is nothing but precision weed management that is we, we all know that uh, distribution of herbicide resident biotypes are there in everywhere even in india we are having uh, the two to five uh, uh, biotypes now these are the different resistant species and i am not going to touch on that straight away move to that uh, uh, distribution of weeds distribution of weeds are having their own uh, distribution like a spatial distribution and temporal distribution the composition of weed species varies across a field and different patches may be dominant by different species and then temporal means weeds that are a major problem in summer annual crops like corn or sugar which may not even emerge when a winter annual crop like wheat is growing so that is the distribution of weeds have a lot of importance because it also crop specific these weeds we just can't take up the same method of weed management to the same different uh, cropping systems or different distribution of different weeds so this uh, rainfall is also having a major role in the uh, weed management if the continuous rain means it's very difficult to manage the weeds so Similarly, last year we had a lot of weed density than compared to previous year. So environment is also playing a lot of role in it. And also we are having a pre disadvantage with this pre and post emergent herbicides also. So to say about this uh, weed management in uh, uh, different crop species, we are having a modern weed management technology and tools that is uh, precision weed management or site specific weed management under that under precision management we can go with this unmanned that is uh, drones or uh, aggressive grit or harvest weed control nanotechnology future advancements new combinations but uh, i think i have my own uh, reservation regarding all these whether this kind of a thing is going to have an influence on uh, indian agricultural situations these are the things i think we all know like gps gis autopilot system all these because this is site specific data management i'm not going to concentrate all those things here and then precision what is precision weed management or site specific weed management uh, as i told you earlier like the distribution of weeds is typically patchy or resulting in wastage of valuable compounds and they also um, increase cost crop damage risk, pest resistance to chemical, environmental pollution and contamination of products. So real-time weed detection of recognition and control in agronomic field crops. So crops require seamless integration and high performance of sensors, data processing and, and really this kind of a site-specific site weed management is a, a, a having its own uh, advantage when it comes to Indian uh, scenario. So, continuing technical advances in computer vision, robotics, mission learning, etc., are advancing for the improved site specific weed management. But uh, the scenario in India is again totally different when compared to Western countries. So, between the high cost of common herbicides options and the growing trend that weeds are becoming more stubborn strategies to effectively manage weeds has shifted dramatically. So that means traditional herbicide application focused on a broad application, but with the high cost associated with this input today, that equates to literally throwing away money if it is applied to areas where weeds may not exit. So precision weed management strategies provide a better method helping to detect weed pressure, identify species, and even manage more targeted application to save on cost. So how we are going to target this? Because precision weed management of crop production goes behind identifying weed species. For example, if the intercrop and then intra-row and then close to crop, that way this precision agriculture is having its own uh, clarity about the weed issues with the field situation. 
and scope of weed uh, precision weed management. Why we have to go for this means? So we are having a monetary loss due to weeds in India. So as I told you earlier, that is the 1980 crores annually and the world population expected to increase up to 9.2 billion but the indian right now population is uh, like uh, 1.4 yeah 417 and then uh, uh, by created and also we need to have uh, uh, third, uh, 320 million tons food uh, production by 2025 not 2050 2025 so that way so we need to increase the uh, food production quality as well as the quantity with limited land and water but uh, instead of going for limited land and water whatever we are producing just manage the weed uh, uh, loss caused by weeds that is uh, 107 million tons of production like uh, food grains that is 33 percent which is accounting uh, so that itself is more than enough we don't have to have any other technology current weed control practices lack the precision needed to control weeds effectively and safely leading to development of herbicide resistant crop so we have to take care of all this that is the scope of this precision weed management and then what is the drawback of site specific management so if you take the site specific defined as machinery or equipment embedded with technologies that detect weeds growing in a crop and considering predefined factors such as economics act to maximize the chances of successfully controlling them includes four processes the site specific data collection detection weeding evaluation and then importance of again weed uh, that reduces the accumulation of herbicide residues in soil water and environment and also reduces or avoid herbicide toxicity on crops and uh, reduces reduced herbicide cost 30 to 80 percent less material applied and reduced chemical in runoff water and sediment limitations also there with uh, site specific weed management cost of mapping weed population assessment difficult in seedling stage and uh, because so crop as well as the weed looks similar limited knowledge about the long-term spot spraying or weed and then if you consider this uh, site specific weed management uh, so we have to have base free emergence applications for control of annual and soil properties spot spraying use patch unlimit outlining or combined mapping and also spray known weed patches plus boundary area post emergence foliar all this kind so i'm just interested in this so what really is precision weed management or what do we really want to call so what is precision weed management means how indians can take advantage of it not only at research level scale but at farm level so during uh, <coughs> while doing the precision when they started initially then precision weed management for only for developed not for the smaller farms that means world with large farms and fields but not for the farmers are having less resources and are having a lesser size but during uh, 2009 itself FAO recorded in the sense in their report grain yield increases will not come from developed world with large farms so it's always like a small farms like each square is one form so we have to have that kind of any in the sense grain yield increases will not come from developed world with large farms that means we have to concentrate on small farms instead of large farms so initially during if you what is the change we need we need to have a change in our own uh, concept in a right. sense our own uh, thinking like in 1990s we used to have like that kind of a uh, research in a sense farmer used to see and then they used to after looking into the thing they used to spray or uh, not spraying during that time there was not much spray on uh, weeds and then during 2015 we started spraying like uh, uh, all herbicides were involved uh, evolved during that period and now we are up to that like uh, drone and then the sense 2022 we are in this stage even though we are uh, in the sense not in a position to have that kind of in uh, equipment but we are still trying to catch that kind of a technology from outside but uh, the thing is we need to have some kind of a 
change in our own perception like for how you deliver days hours in the sense we have six hours in any precision agriculture whether it's for irrigation management whether it's for weed management we have to have our own precision management uh, um, practices for our condition just uh, we are just not borrowing from some other country and then just uh, practicing those um, practices in our uh, situation that is not the thing so we need to go for our own practices for example weed management means we have to have uh, like uh, different methods that should be like a precise way we have to do that yeah. six hours i was uh, telling about the six hours that is use of right input whether we are using the right input that is herbicide or nano herbicide that is very very crucial very very important also at the right time are we using the uh, herbicide at the right time for example pre planting pre emergence early post emergence and post emergence so instead of using in the pre emergent or pre planting if you use at the stay in the sense after 20 days or 25 days early post emergent sometimes it works otherwise we have to go with this pre emergence followed by early post emergent or one pre emergent or one hand weeding that time in the sense we have to have this kind of a hard at the right time and also in the right amount concentration is very very important because we have to standardize the concentration because if you use higher concentration there will be toxicity to the crop as well as the soil also microbes if you use a lesser quantity then there is no effect on the weeds or crops so that way right amount of concentration is very very crucial and then at the right places on weeds we have to use whether it's a <coughs> articultural crops or field crops we have to use this on weeds only so if you are using herbicides we have to use on the weeds so in the right manner so whether it's the right manner in the sense individual plant spraying or wood for row application as it showed you in the earlier pictures so we have to have the right manner if you apply somewhere else and then you are looking for somewhere else the weed management so that is not the way so wherever the weeds we have to spray on those weeds and then if the crops are there then we have to use the wood and then for row application sometimes we have to follow the furrow applications also with the right genetics so nowadays we are having a resistant weeds and then uh, variety hybrid or grasses broadly we sedges so some people what they do if the but particular herbicide is for only for grasses then they will spray it on broad leaves and then they will go for uh, something else for the uh, broad leaves so that way that specific weed specific or genetics in the sense specific okay. specific herbicides for the management of spatial and temporal variability in agricultural production system so for improving productivity conserving natural resources and avoiding any ecological or social turbulences so precision weedment that is a change we all want to so instead of going for uh, i ended uh, equipments it's better to go with the small equipments like uh, wheel hoe and then wo and then the small sprayers and also like in our days we need to have the change like uh, like the stale seed bed method and the driven the like, uh, power driven uh, tractor and then with the uh, wheel uh, this thing and also different implements possible so that means we have to think of our own equipments to have the precision agriculture possible in our indian situation instead of going for others so there is a place for precision weed management in india also so we need to focus on us to manage whether it's a spatial or uh, temporal variability to enhance production efficiency and profitability of one farm at a time so with a limited scope in using aerial imagery and uh, site maps for the purpose of improving herbicide use efficiency under seasonal weather conditions so one has to have insect pest incidence also modifies the green intensity and ndv value of the wheat plants so that way we have to think of using this i ended or whether we have to go for this kind of a uh, precision agriculture so what is the road map like access and adapt available 
good management practices, uh, correct inherent soil seed bank limitations, and monitor wheat population and RNAs positive interactions, and provide adequate wheat management through integrated wheat management, monitor crop growth and crop needs through uh, site specific weed management, assess cost of good agronomic management practices for economic gain. So aim for long term sustainability. So what is the conclusion is there is no set of universal weed management practices, site specific and crop specific, vary from one region to the next and the one form to another form, depending on the soil types, climatic conditions, crop and cropping history. So right product concentration, time and place guiding principles can be applied in any form system and are interconnected, interconnected not depend, independent. So to achieve maximum benefit, enhanced okay. herbicide use efficiency and reduced herbicide losses. Herbicides must be applied in the right quantity from the sources and in the right combination at the right time using right methods. So application of herbicides for achieving herbicide efficiency is six. So we have so many other technologies. I was telling about uh, other technologies like uh, drones, abrasive grid, harvest uh, weed seed technology, uh, seed control, and then nanotechnology, future advancements and new combinations out of so many. So uh, just uh, robotic technology, we all know like its aim is to increase precision. So to increase the precision, we have a robotic technology also we control either through chemical or mechanical methods within a row that includes so in that you can have this v detection v tracking and then acuter so see here one of the paper what they say is they have used all this weed robot terra sentia and then avo laser weeder so with all this uh, methods used mechanical and chemical and laser so they have this kind of a Video or sensor, so RGB camera and uh, use to control the weeds and weed sensing systems. So two categories of weed sensing systems include ground based sensing system, aerial based remote sensing system. So ground based is it is uh, multispectral image sensors such as color digital cameras are used in a mobile platform that as a sprayer. And also this aerial based remote sensing it is successfully applied to detect distinct weed patches which are dense and uniform. And uh, artificial in intelligence is also used in precision uh, weed management. It's a branch of computer science so aims to create intelligent machines that Hello. work and react Hello. like humans. So these are also working in the field of weed management, artificial intelligence. So here what they do, they have a intelligence like particular applications of artificial intelligence include expert system. So this will be having an expert system, speech recognition and machine vision. So machine learning, speech and then vision. All this together form the artificial intelligence. This also used in uh, precision agriculture. So artificial, sorry, agricultural robotics are used in different forms. That is, they potentially could direct chemical or cultivation tools to directly target wheat plants. Those, so these are the uh, robotics are used in and uh, autonomous weeding robot are also used. They are having several uh, companies. So. This, what they will do, they will see and spray technique are used in this kind of a uh, robotics, precisely spraying herbicides only where needed. That means we are using precisely, that is called precision weed management and then here there is no loss of any and detecting the weeds and then spraying, that is pot and spray technique and then let you spot, it is also used so to automate this process by taking images and then spraying autonomous robot less service 90 percent less service and then up to 30 percent less expensive than standard treatments so no herbicide left on the crops and then it conserves the organic life of the soil with limited soil compaction so that way it is more than enough for one day of autonomous so this is nothing but smart precision spraying 
and screen and the cotton plant with such responses automatically mapped weed mapped for spraying so this is precision chemical spray by robot and then drones and then it is also known as uh, unmanned aerial vehicle i think uh, at present it's the only tamil nadu agriculture university is having the only center as having a training school also and i think uh, during our uh, agronomy meet we all visited that uh, demonstration of the drones i think uh, murli sir knows about all those things it is a device which can fly either with the help of autopilot and the gps coordinates so calculating and then sensing the wind and spraying and application of drones in agriculture everywhere almost in all the fields of agriculture livestock management crop spraying soil and field irrigation and then crop insurance crop health and now i think it's weed identification also it's included under drones and then these are all the different uh, weight sensors used in the drones and then weed identification crop spraying and then it's, it's also called as an eye in the sky and drones yeah drones uses based on the season again so sometimes they use during february march and then april june and then july september october june so it is season specific sometimes india has four season through throughout this we generally club them into three season that is curry rabi and summer so whether that can be used or not used we have to decide in the sense uh, post rain trial dryness system analysis and then post storm and uh, determine uh, wind or hail flood damage so we have to see that whether we can fly these uh, drones and then drones and agriculture a match made in heaven that's what people say but uh, when it comes to weed management we are still in the in the testing trial stage so drones can be used to get a more accurate map of any existing issues as well as we as well as create solutions based upon extremely reliable data in a sense we can rely on this data but uh, we need to have lot of in the sense uh, experimental evidences to say this drones are this is the drones and agriculture a match made in heaven so ndv value so it's difficult during uh, vegetation and then ndv map indicating healthy and unhealthy that and all i think it's a very basic if people know about it and then sensors used in drones and what is the challenge is one of the challenges the balance between the uae cast and the performance nowadays i think uh, for 3 lakhs also the drones are available that's what i heard i'm not sure about it high performance of the uae with long flight time stability as well as limited interference will be expensive and prevent farmers from adopting the application as they are very resistant to any new cast so the second challenge is that farmers need time to accept any new technology and to be convinced that profits from this scheme are guaranteed unless they guaranteed with a better profit i don't think uh, farmers will follow but nowadays they are hiring centers they can hire from them and they can use it by paying hourly basis so what are the differences between robotics and drones used under precision uh, weed management so robotics works with hyper spectral uh, multi spectral and then thermal sensors this drone sir it is a unmanaged aerial vehicle works with autopilot and it has normal radio controls so that these are the differences between drones and robotics and then the techniques what they use is ground based hyperspectral remote sensing techniques are developed for detection of crop so hand hyperspectral radiometer is portable and effective device for rapid early detection of herbicide sensor control field spraying automated weeders so these are the multi spectral sensing vegetation with and detection of crops how they detect then robotic weeders and one of the papers says like uh, if you have different types of weed management practices for precision agriculture 
Clutch of form that is besides hand weeding or tailoring automated weeders and different treatments they have used in this. In that, that sensor controlled field spraying is having a better uh, control of weeds compared to any other um, weed management practices practiced under such condition that is in Rajasthan. And in one more abrasive grit method. So in this grit method, grit sources like corn cob, walnut shells, soybean meal, etc., can be used. So having that particle size of that point uh, to zero one five to point zero three five inch diameter. So what they do is in this abrasive weeding is a non-chemical weed management tool. So weed leaves and stems are uh, a branded with by a uh, small grit profile with uh, this compressed hair. So that means these are going to sit on those uh, leaves of the uh, weeds and then finally that will be killed. So see this uh, before treatment and then the after the treatment. So after grit application. So grit is going to kill the uh, weeds. So grit applicator is also there. It's available in the market and uh, these grits are used to manage the weeds. This is not a chemical method. This is purely on the non-chemical method. And then applicators are used in the uh, air compressor, uh, offer and meter, and then nozzles. These are the things are there in the grit applicator. They can, at a time, they can uh, have a uh, have eight rows. So maybe depending on the number of rows available in that particular machine, so they can uh, cover the crops. So in that they had a different uh, grit applications. So they used corn, tomato and pepper, broccoli crops. They have uh, are the crops and that they have applied this grit and then the control weed control percentage was highest with the corn that is 70 to 90 percent and also in the pepper that is 75 to 95 percent. What they did they have used the applied to planting whole area in plastic film. So we set one leaf stage. So again, the leaf stage is very, very crucial. And then they have to follow when the weed leaves the two to three leaf stage, the two to three leaf stage. And tomato and bell pepper, that is the out of that uh, table, that is tomato and pepper can be sprayed one week after transplanting. Stem abrasion is visible, but the grit application does not reduce growth rate or yield of the tomato or pepper. So again, one more technology under uh, precision agriculture that is harvest weed seed control. So after the harvest, that is alternative non-chemical weed control practices are needed to control this weed resistance on our escaped weeds. So after the harvest, one has to collect these seed weed seeds. So that's also one of the precision weed management it's a, and also it's a non-chemical method of weed control. And also nowadays it's a nanotechnology. So what are nanoparticle materials that you all know, like nanomaterials and then coated that, for example, fertilizers, nanofertilizers are there nowadays, that is urea and also DAP. And then plant protection things like pesticides, pesticides, herbicides, and plant pathogen detection tools. So people are using, I think, uh, Chinnamutusar is also having his own uh, uh, product now, by now, I think. So from TNAO, again, this work is also is going on in TNAO. And then uh, nanotechnology can provide greater safety for agricultural crops and for non-target organisms, uh, such as pollinators. Uh. So these are also called, can serve as a magic bullet, uh, so containing herbicides. Uh. Nanopesticides, fertilizers, that is also there. And then, so one has to have what type of precision method one has to follow. That is very, very important. So nanoparticles in agriculture is also used like encapsulated nano, uh, nano group particles and also nano herbicides, nano pesticides, nano bactericides. So how it's going to uh, have the effect means so herbicide encapsulated with the nanoparticle if you apply any other root zone means uh, it's a pathway of encapsulated uh, nano and what is the challenges in uh, precision weed management we have a uh, designing a sensor it's a challenge and then complex agricultural environment because distribution is not so normal and then fast and timely detection of weeds is required 
and then new and improved ground based and aerial based remote sensing systems are required so that way challenges are more with the precision weed management designing sensor due to complex agriculture environment time and then softwares so all this come to in the sense we need to have all this in a um, proper manner to have this precision weed management and the conclusion is that the conventional methods like intercrops cover crops conservation till flaming herbicides cannot be replaced suddenly so it's not so easy we cannot just replace all these methods precision weed management as a potential to reduce herbicide use is correct but the and the cost reduction up to only 75% so farmers are expecting more profit whichever the method if you just convey it's difficult to convince the farmers unless they have their own uh, uh, the seeing is believing that means uh, so they have to see from their own naked eyes then only they will believe otherwise they don't believe so the use of the internet the various types of sensors artificial intelligence or machine learning can provide potential improvements to integrated weed management the robotic weed management soil seed bank management nanotechnology biotechnology improvement may be future options for weed control other than the conventional method of weed control precision weed management plays an important role in long term sustainability of agriculture system the site specific use of can lead to an increased yield and improve the quality of the production so to have better weed management and to overcome herbicide resistance these technologies and improved tools should be used so this is the thing so only precision weed management to our condition is that present so we have to go with this right input right time right amount right places right manner right genetics so put together these six us will work so for indian situation that's my conclusion when it comes to high and uh, missions or missions learning or goals and all it takes some more time to that to because in for our situation i feel this kind of a integrated method of other methods like for example if we are using herbicides then pre emergence then followed by one hand weeding or followed by cycle weeder that kind of when precision weed management is required and also one has to follow for our for your uh, uh, very elaborative and you are sharing your uh, experience and expertise in the weed management and you have nicely narrated the present day situation in weed management and also what would be the future uh, weed management uh, options uh, for that uh, our young agronomist would be uh, getting a uh, insight so thank you very much for your sharing your uh, this excellent lecture and uh, i this uh, this i request that any discussion is open for uh, discussion please any queries you can get ma'am good morning ma'am good morning ma'am very nice presentation ma'am you have tell me all the details um so from starting from our uh, um, earlier method of weed management to the uh, precision uh, that is uh, the latest methods advanced methods also you have elaborated so very uh, uh, useful useful presentation ma'am uh, thank you uh, uh, thank you for your uh, valuable time sharing with us uh, we will uh, conclude the session with this uh, okay, okay. Thank, you. okay. thank you thank you